Hi, and welcome back to a new season and a new episode of UTS Student Hats. I'm one of your hosts, Kelly, and I'm going to my fourth year of law and business majoring in accounting. And I'm Roxanne, in my fourth year of medical science and international studies majoring in Japan. Awesome. So before we get right into it, just get yourself some water, fruit, some snacks. Treat yourself just, a little. Get some water, yeah. stay hydrated. As always, as you should. This episode, we'll be talking about setting up for success. So making sure you get off on the right foot for this semester and hopefully for the entire year. To do that, we're just going to talk about our unique experiences and just look back and see what we might have done differently in our first year. Yeah. We're just going to start off with a pretty simple question. <laughs> Why did we even choose UTS? Roxanne? Um, Why did I choose UTS? Well, back in year 12, I had a workshop from U at uni, and I got to have a glimpse of what uni life was at UTS, and I really enjoyed it. The buildings were very nice. I liked going on the elevator because it was very cool. Moved every time you stepped the foot on. And also, um, I was looking into med sci and international studies, and it was the only degree that had the combination offered at UTS. So... I applied for it, got the offer, hopped right in, accepted it. And then now I'm here for the past four years. Yeah. Mm. What about you? So I chose these here as well. One of the main points was that it had a really good location. It's literally in the heart of the city and it's really easy to get to from where I live. And I had a really nice time meeting students during open day, which UTS had when I was in year 12. It really left a big impression that UTS was a very open community and I wanted to be part of it. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. We both had really good experiences. The next question, what we hoped for out of UTS and what we would have done differently in our first year. Yeah, especially since we're now in going into fourth year. So we've been here for quite a long time now. (laughs) Yeah, time passes really fast. Yeah, it has. So what did you hope for to get out of UTS looking back now? At the time... I just wanted to take it easy because going into university, it's it's a pretty big, pretty big step up from high school. I took the traditional route of I got an ATAR, completed the HSC, and went straight into university. I didn't have that many friends or from high school that I knew that were going to UTS, so I basically started off in a clean slate. Didn't know anyone, and I just wanted to take it easy and see what UTS had to offer because I just want to try out new things and see what could spark my interest because I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I I had no idea what was going to happen during my university journey, so just want to take it easy. What about you, Roxanne? Um, For me, I think if looking back to my first year, it would have been really good to join a club, actually, because everybody during the first year is quite nervous to meet new friends, especially if you gone into uni without any of your high school friends so joining a club you'd meet similar students like a lot of first years join clubs i think it's a good opportunity to meet others who have like like like-minded or similar interests yeah exactly um (laughs) talking about clubs i remember in my first year where a lot of clubs had pub crawls yeah (laughs) a lot of pub Um, crawls had a lot of pub crawls but when i came into university i was still 17 i still had quite a few months before i was legal. legal enough to drink <laughs> um so that was funny i would see people like asking me oh are you going to this particular pub call i'm like haha i'm not I'm legal yet <laughs> yeah um, instead i think i applied for any opportunities that i had to like be a part of society so <laughs> i joined an open meeting competition that's a very big thing to do yeah, in your first year it especially. is it's like first year first semester um, with my degree, I don't do any law subjects in my... F- basically, no law subjects in my first year. So I was going in with no legal knowledge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no legal knowledge. And I had to, like, learn things about, like, I don't know. I think one of the buzz was, like, estoppel and contracts. Oh, okay. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. But it was a really good experience. Oh, Met okay. a lot of people. Learned a lot about like the whole like oh, well, especially like yeah. in meeting like i can only the, imagine how much you would learn yeah like the rules like how you meant to present yourself in court and how you would like make 
uh, like submissions, like how you went and set them out. Like it was a really good learning experience, but not gonna lie, it was a little traumatizing. Yeah, <laughs> I can only imagine as well. <laughs> but if you ask anyone else who's done like competitions like that, it's a really really big opportunity, and you can learn a lot from it. So if you're like wondering how to get, how to be a part of like societies. You can actually go to our club's expo, which is running in the second week of orientation. So running from Tuesday to Thursday, and you can see what UTS has to offer in terms of clubs. So see what these clubs are about, and see what sparks your interest. In the event that you don't find a club that you really vibe with, you can always make your own. Yeah. Roxanne has a lot of experience <laughs> with that. I do, surprisingly. Um, during my first year of uni back in 2018, uh, there was surprisingly no K-pop. Club, so it just so happens that there was a K-pop group chat where a couple of people enjoyed K-pop, and one of my friends decided to start the society, and that's how K-pop society kind of started about from a group chat. Yeah, surprisingly, I believe like in your first year you get added to a bunch of random messenger group yeah. chats. Um, these are usually like from like UTS discussion groups, and everyone's like, "Oh, he's also a first year doing these subjects," and you just get added, um, and you just go into a very very chaotic group yeah. chat. Yeah, there's a definitely in your first year, everyone's like, "Who's studying this? Is anyone on campus to meet each other?" Or like, "Is anyone free for lunch?" Which is the most important meal of the day, <laughs> I think. Yeah, like everyone else is also in the same boat or wanting to find friends. Yeah. Because you're in your first year, everything's new. You want to just want to get some friends. Yeah. Sometimes it's like you, some people just don't have someone in the faculty. So reaching out in a group chat and being like, is anybody in this class is often a good thing to do. And that's how I found a lot of my friends in medical science. Yeah. Or you can just do the good old fashioned way of just going up to someone actually in class and saying, hey, can I be friends with you? I personally did that a lot in first year. And oh, okay. I'm still friends with those people from first year till now. And we make a lot of like group notes together, study groups. And that has really helped me throughout oh. the past three years. Now going to my fourth year of uni. That's pretty good. For my first year, I just sat next to someone and they would be like, hello. What's your name? I'd be like, I'm Roxanne. Hi, are you in this class? Okay, <laughs> let's be lab partners. And I've been friends with them for the past three years of my uni. So, yeah, yeah it's just like a simple reach, reaching out, saying like, hello, would you like to be friends or lab partners if you're in science or reaching out in classes? It's a really good opportunity. Yeah, just, just say hi. Like, there's really nothing you can lose. Yeah. You can only gain from it. So now we're going to talk about like common misconceptions you would have as a first year because I knew I had I had a few. One of my misconceptions was that you needed to know everything about the university or you needed mm. to know what you were doing getting into university. Yeah, and definitely that isn't the case. You know, along your uni degree, you'll figure it out, learn about a lot of things about how everything works and what works for you, especially more catered. Because every student is different. You need to find out what's suited for you, essentially. Like, for example, making like timetables. I remember that was the biggest obstacle for me, you know, for, in my first year. I accidentally somehow chose my business major without even going through any of the business course <laughs> subjects um, when I was enrolling into um, subjects for my first year and it was a whole mess. I had to call up student centre and sort it out. Yeah, sort it yeah. out because I was generally really taken back at how like the whole process of like you need to enrol, then after enrolling you do your timetable and sometimes changes might happen in your timetable when you start freaking out as a first year. All fair happens to the best of us. So yeah. it's okay not to know everything. I think a misconception that I had during my first year is that you don't need to go to all your lectures. Um, although sometimes it's more, it's best recommended to go to all, to the majority of your lectures since it's easier to understand the content of some if you're there at that moment. But it's all like catered to you how you study. Um, but yeah, some lectures are usually like not recorded or are recorded. Or recorded it really depends on what subject you're taking like we said earlier everyone learns differently every student is different so lectures might really help you with learning the content from a subject lectures might not help you maybe reading the textbook might help you more it's really up to you but 
it's a good thing to go to your lectures at least like for the yeah. first few weeks sure. get a little taste on how it how lectures are and make a judgment from there oh yeah also uh, some things that um i think what i would like to know during first year is that sometimes you don't need to buy all your textbooks during first year so it's best recommended to wait until your first week of class to see how your subject lecturer yeah. tells you about if you need the textbook or not cuz mm-hmm. some classes they just base it off on the powerpoint so textbooks aren't necessary but it's all up to depending on your degree our library has a lot of them they might even have an electronic version of it so don't stress out too much if you don't have everything prepared before your first class yeah it's okay yeah. it's okay it's okay <laughs> are there any other like services that you would use Roxanne that would help you besides like lectures and tutorials oh yeah actually looking back i would definitely go to the help center which is up on level 6 I think level 5 building 1 right yeah <laughs> okay oh <laughs> i should have known this okay but level 5 i think they would have definitely helped you like out a lot during first year and also you pass sessions are something that i definitely would have utilized more of in my first year cuz yeah. first year subjects are sometimes really hard to get a grip of especially from transitioning from high school to uni definitely utilizing like some of the services like you pass in yeah. helps i i used you pass in my first year and it was really helpful they gave me worksheets they because you pass is run by like students who've done well in that subject before so they kind of have some idea of what are the points that you really need to know other points that we nice to know from the i had a really nice time going to you pass sessions and now i myself am a you pass leader so i actually yeah. run those sessions and yeah don't be afraid to ask for like extra help outside of lectures and tutorials because you pass is another way of learning stuff there's always something there for you to help if you are having any trouble or struggling yeah. with anything just don't be shy to ask for help like, yeah exactly don't be shy If you're still feeling a little lost about like what you even want to get out of university, like should I even join a club? Like what should I prioritize? Especially I know some first year students may have a job or oh, like yeah. how to prioritize that. Should I prioritize university or finding a job, things like that? Um currently at the Student Learning Hub, we have a workshop called Design, Design Your, Your UTS, UTS, which is actually run by UTS Careers. Yes. and they can help you identify what you want out of university like what your priorities are how you are at the moment and how you want to be in the future this might be at the end of the year in 3 years time really it depends on you and at student learning hub you can also visit us at level 4 building 2 and just see what's going on on that day. There'll be a schedule of what's going on like you might want to learn skills about excel in design illustrator yeah. that might interest you. It might not be related to your degree. That's okay. You could just yeah. pick up on those skills. And definitely with the new transition to Canvas as well. Um if anybody's confused about how to use Canvas, you can also drop by and we can help you out with that. Yeah, exactly. Like I've been using Blackboard for the past 3 years. Using Canvas hopefully won't be too hard. Don't yeah. believe it is, but it is still a change and to just wrap up the podcast, we have 3 tips that you can take out from this podcast. and it just so happens that it goes UTS so yeah, we'll spells out UTS <laughs> <laughs> so for you um UTS is here for you so it's okay to not know everything we are here to help you through your uni process and it's it is a new experience so there is it comes with new hardships as well so for T in UTS take your time to get involved even if you're not in your first year it's always better late than never And for S, the final letter, it's set up for success to wrap it all up. Um, so it's just set your priorities. Don't overwhelm yourself with everything. Um, just take your time, explore out. Especially if you're in your first year, explore. Or even if you're not in your ex- first year, you know, just test out the waters for anything that you're interested in, and yeah, go for it. Exactly. So thanks for listening to the first episode of the UTS Student Learning Hacks. for this autumn session. If you want to check out any of our other episodes, they're on our website and other sites like Spotify. Join us for our next podcast on settling in and joining our community. Until next time. See ya. See ya.